Shut up. Got me like Queenie. <laughs> there you go. Okay. That's too slow. <laughs> this is what I do. I love my job. Oh, yeah. Who doesn't love ice cream? Good morning, guys. It's Nick here from Team Aquascapes, and it is D-Day out here at Iguana Land. We have many, many, many of our certified Aquascape contractors showing up in the next 10 minutes, and this place is gonna go from empty like it is now to absolutely crazy. So we're gonna get this thing kicked off here shortly. Until then, I got a lot of work to do. So we'll catch up with you guys in just a little bit. everybody you guys pumped yeah. yeah so here's the visionary Ty Park my friend the crazy rich Asian <laughs> whose lifelong dream we are standing on today and we only met in October same no. longer <laughs> <laughs> I'll let him tell you a little bit about his dream that we're hit we're gonna be helping out with today and how he ended up here in Punta Gorda Florida you didn't tell me at the top <laughs> you got it <laughs> when I was growing up I wanted to be a zoo director I'm building this so that many generation could enjoy it after I die. This will be the largest reptile zoo in the world once it's wow. built. Starting with about 300 different species. It's going to be also a very family friendly place. We want to educate the kids. It's going to be called Iguana Land Reptile Zoo Conservation Education Center. And we are months away from opening, right? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got a couple good days in front of us here. We got beautiful weather, so hopefully everybody that came out of the north is going to be soaking up the sunshine here with us. Nick and I were here several weeks ago doing a lot of the prep work. And the reason we came in to do a lot of the prep work was we would not be able to get all the stuff physically done in a two day period. So we wanted to get a lot of the infrastructure done. We have a 500 gallon reservoir up in the front for the Poundless Waterfall. The main goal for that waterfall is to create a beautiful entryway as everybody comes into Iguana Land. We wanna have a lot of big boulders. Like Ty said, we wanna have it interactive for children. So we want kids to be able to climb on top of the waterfalls, take pictures. Ty's already been talking about all the like the selfie stations and the areas for Instagram. So he really wants to have that social media presence. Setting up all these little niche areas where people can take pictures of animals, waterfalls, the beautiful koi pond that we're doing mm -hmm. in back, etc. Right in the middle where our big pond is going, that's kind of a garden space area. So Ty strategically located that right in the middle because people are going to come in, it's going to be hot. He will have his canopies yeah, yeah, and shade cloth going area. over everything uh -huh. just to keep people out of the sun. But we want to have a, that garden space right in the middle where people can just sit down, they could relax. He's going to have a concession stand in the back so kids could come, they could eat. We're gonna have all types of colorful fish. So we're gonna to try to create this beautiful area over in the back. So our goal today is to have a team break off with Nick up in the front. So you'll be able to do a waterfall up in the front, a poundless waterfall, and then come in the back tomorrow. Obviously the number one thing is aesthetics. So we want to grab people's attention right when they pull in. This is set back from the road. So cars driving by 70 miles an hour are not going to see the waterfall. It's not designed for that. Designed as people are entering the facility. We started doing all this stuff on the first day we were here. We didn't have the big rocks. So I think we're going to probably pull a couple of these smaller ones out. Maybe drop in a few of the larger ones just to start layering our way up to the top. We do want a larger berm over here. That's just going to look better. So we don't want just this little volcano. We want to create a nice nice mounded area that can be planted up. All right guys, so it is only about 30 minutes after we started. And as you can see behind me, it's just a madhouse. Everybody is working so hard to get this done. It's super fun, it's a great learning experience for all these guys as well as myself, because a lot of these guys are teaching me stuff as we're working. With that being said, we have a lot more work to do, so I'll try and keep filming, but we gotta get this done today. Alright guys, so it's just about lunchtime. You can see behind me, everybody is still kicking butt working, trying to get this thing done. I'm sorry I haven't picked up the camera more, but it's been non-stop. What I can show you is what we have done so far, and then what we have left to do for the rest of the day. So we got edges going in, we got a bib liner going in over here. Everybody's all hands on deck. I mean, it's awesome seeing this stuff come together. You can see Brian working over there on that bib liner to carry that water out so we can have that penetration area on the back side there. Our plumbing's done and in. You see Juan and the guys from Jersey doing the second set of waterfalls here. We have 
have one more big drop that's gonna come out of the biofalls there. We're gonna try and push this water up this way. Make sure that looks awesome. The retaining wall looks great on the back side. What's up, Nick? The retaining wall is looking absolutely fantastic. We're gonna bring some fabric around the back side on the inside of these rocks so we don't lose sand through these. You can see, I mean, everybody is just going to work. Plumbing's done. Looks great. You can see we're just gonna bury this right here and then we'll be able to push that liner up and get some retaining stones in there. Everything looks awesome. Like I said, guys, this is really turning out awesome. I'm so excited. Also, everybody in the back is working on the pond right now simultaneously, so we have a lot going on right now and everything is getting done. It looks great. We'll catch up with you in a little bit when I have another free second. Here it is, <laughs> basically right there. Just the last couple minute things, we're waiting on foam to dry, but I think we're about ready to turn this thing on. Everybody did awesome today. It was hot, it was humid, everybody was sweating their butts off. Did you remember sunscreen? Cause you look a little red there, man. I, I remember it at about three o'clock. <laughs> you guys ready to kick this thing on? Yeah. yeah. First of all, look at how beautiful it looks dry. And if it looks good dry, you know it's oh, gonna it's look good wet. Good. Seriously, what else could you put here that everybody, as soon as they pull in, this is what they're going to see. And at nighttime, it's going to be lit up. And we did this basically in a day and a half. Half a day of prep and then building this out today. So it looks like you guys know what you were doing. I am ready to see this thing. So let's go ahead and plug it in and start it up. Right. Success. Great job, everybody. All right. Not bad. Great. I Looks love great. it. Every waterfall is completely unique. Cool, speech, guys. Speech. It is awesome. <laughs> 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 We need a backdrop for that waterfall, such an important thing. We pulled up a established tree, some sort of giant palm here, and uh, now we're just muscling it into place. Or I shouldn't say we, <laughs> they are muscling it into place. That's perfect, and that will stop your eye then right behind the waterfalls so that you will look at the waterfalls. All the little decorations. This is like the Christmas tree, putting the decorations on top. How fantastic is that gonna be? And that's where you're gonna stop in. Everybody's eyes are gonna see this when they pull in. There's the entranceway, and here's the waterfalls. I love my job. So check that out guys, it's nice and crystal clear this morning. Took it the night to just kind of clear up all the sediment and stuff. We do have some finishing touches to do on this thing before we completely put our stamp of approval on it. We need to wire up some lights, gotta finish some edge treatments, make sure everything is super, super tight. This thing looks great, a heck of a job yesterday. The plants really just bring this whole thing together. I mean, yesterday when it was finished, we turned it on, it looked great, but by the time we bring all these plants in, and I think there's more plants coming in today, it just completely changes the look of it. I, well, a lot of times we say a pond's not done until you have landscaping around it. This is why, I mean, it just absolutely makes the pond. 